Hello everybody, welcome to the Joel Homie Show, where today I review five of the Vivzy Pop Hasman Hotel Shark Robot Enamel Pins. <laughs> Hey, you there! I want to remind everybody that if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. And right now, YouTube says that over 90% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help, and with that... Hello everybody, I'm Joel Homie, your guys' host for today's video, where today I'm going to be reviewing five of the Shark Robot Vivzy Pop Hasman Hotel enamel pins. So today's video will be based around reviewing five of the enamel pins that I have here in front of me. This is not every single pin that you can get, though are many more that I don't have currently, but today's video I will be reviewing the Alistair Limited Edition Summer Alistair, and then the Valentino and Vox enamel pins, as well as the Husk, as well as Serpentius Hard enamel pins. So I'm going to go ahead and start by simply just unbagging these, as these are still currently brand new, and I will be trying to keep these in the best condition that I can, with keeping the little cords in intact and everything like that, although sadly my little copy of the Valentino pin is sadly a little bit messy messed up as when I got this. I actually ended up getting four of these with a bunch of other Shark Robot products that I had purchased and they got a little bit messed up in the package when they were being shipped. But anyway, let's go ahead and start with the first one that I actually picked up and the one that I'm actually most happy with currently. So this is the Alistair Summer uh, Special, which is the limited edition enamel pin as I had mentioned earlier. So I still have it in its little plastic bag, which I'll go ahead and just simply undo here and we'll pull the little cord out. And as I said, I'll try to do this uh, sort of uh, carefully because I do want to keep these in decent condition. So you can see here on the front, the cord has a nice sort of summer uh, detail to the back of it with a little sort of uh, floaty for the pool, I guess. And then you have a little uh, sort of life ring or whatever you'd like to call that. And then you have a couple other things with the Hasman Hotel sort of logo there right above the actual pin there in the center. And then at the bottom, you have your little description made in China, Summer Alistair Limited Edition, chakrobot.com slash Pop and all that. And then on the back here is just your little sort of a pin cap to keep it on. And then of course, I do believe these are compatible with locking backings, but I'm not exactly sure. It actually doesn't look like it has the notch. But anyway, enough uh, talking here. Let's go ahead and get Alistair off of the actual sort of cardboard back and take a look at him. So here you can see he is smiling with his uh, tongue sort of uh, being exposed there, sort of acting like he's out in the summer heat with his sunglasses on. And then other than that, his hair, the black portions that would usually be black in a sort of like a Hasbro Hotel episode or maybe like a comic dub, is actually sort of like a chrome hair that matches the colors of his actual glasses rather than actually being black. And then his hair is also red, but to the naked eye, it actually appears to be more of a bright sort of pink or sort of like a rich pink. It's just the way that I'm looking at it. The camera probably picks it up a bit different, but it looks like a very light or very rich pink to me. But anyway, with that on the back, you can see here, it is just the same color as his sort of the black detailing on his sunglasses as these Pacific parts, I'm pretty sure are actually not painted because they do actually match whatever coat might've been put onto the back of the pin or just sort of like a base coat to actually protect this from like rusting and whatnot. And then of course the rest of his colors do match up. So his skin color is uh, all normal and stuff like that. And his teeth are yellow. And actually the vast majority of the inside of his mouth is also the same color as these uh, sort of uh, silver parts that match his sunglasses and the back of the pen. And then you just get a uh, simple rubber backing. But as I said, I'm not exactly sure if these pins are actually compatible with the locking backings or not. I did not do a lot of research on that. So I do apologize for that. But anyway, moving this out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at our next pin, which will actually be Valentino sticking with the vibe of the overlords of hell so as you can see here this is just the Valentino pin so this is just a normal enamel pin as I had uh, sort of referenced earlier in the video this is not exactly a limited edition one but there is limited stock in the Shark Robot store currently as of the time of the recording of this video 
but if you're watching this far in advance or maybe sometime in the future these pins may be far gone but as of the time of recording you can still get this one but the actual owl still limited edition uh, summer pin is actually not available anymore which is why i mentioned that but anyway getting this guy out as i had said earlier this is the only pin that is um well sustained any form of damage with the cord just having a little crease uh, right there i don't know if the camera can actually see it in the reflection but it just goes right there along sort of like the top right but anyway the important thing is is that the pin made it through and thankfully there's no noticeable damage on this and i wouldn't expect there to be but anyway getting valentino out let's go ahead and take a look at him so actually real quick uh, before that this is a different cord so the background is a lot more sort of a generic rather than the out actual limited edition summer alistair backing and then this is a lot more purple rather than the uh, the actual sort of colors of the Hasbro hotel logo as you can see here on my serpentious pin uh, cord it's actually a little bit more purple on this one but anyway moving that out of the way once again we have our rubber backing and then here here is the Valentino pin so as you can see here he has his uh, sort of a fur coat on with um, the little hearts or red hearts going around there and then his little hat with the little feather coming off and the stripes and everything like that and then of course there in the center you have Valentino's face with his uh, heart glasses and his one sort of golden tooth or actually here it looks more like a uh, sort of a shiny a very dark orange to maybe a light brown actually it's not really displayed as golden too much here but anyway as you can see his eyes are also a sort of in sort of like a pose as if he's giving sort of like a menacing smile in my opinion and then his uh, smile is actually very exaggerated as you can see here with uh, the very sort of at uh, tips of his mouth actually being a lot smaller than here so it's actually I, I presume very strongly meant to actually represent his uh, sort of tooth of there as well as the rest of his red teeth which are a very cool aspect in my opinion and then moving to my last normal enamel uh, pin here we have my Vox pin so this one once again is also still a brand new much like every other one that I have here so let's go ahead and get this out of its little card and actually upon further inspection i didn't notice but sadly this one does have some pieces too but yeah that's being very nitpicky and then getting this out of the cord or rather off of the cord with the uh, simple uh, rubber backing that we've seen with all the other pins and moving these out of the way here is our vox pin so for those of you that don't know vox is one of the many characters that is actually not as commonly known in the hasman hotel sort of a fandom rather than actually a lot of other characters such as alistair and valentino with recent videos like the addict music video and that whole entire thing but Vox is a character that is a very interesting to me because I've always been interested in technology and he is otherwise called the TV demon, much like Alistair sometimes called the radio demon. But anyway, for those of you that have never seen uh, Vox, here he is right in front of you. So he has a little hat with sort of like a Wi-Fi bar and some little sort of audio uh, spikes going along his hat, sort of making up that brim that is all on top of that sort of a uh, shiny metallic look, I guess, whatever it might be. As I said, whether that be a base coat or just bare metal, whatever it might be. And then his face, of course, you've got his uh, very nice sort of blue color with the sort of uh, what would usually, in my case, look like sort of like if your uh, TV got broken and had sort of like those weird lines going through it over here off to the left side of his face. And then you've got his uh, eyebrows right above his two eyes, of course, with one of them being a lot more exaggerated than the other. And then his mouth right below that with a very menacing and exaggerated smile. And then you've got the same simple red sort of outline running around his face as usual and then mind you and since um vox is the tv demon as you can clearly tell his head is actually a television now there's a lot of uh, conspiracy theories and whatnot that go around that say that his head might have changed over time but generally it's always been a square but anyway there is the vox enamel pin and then taking a look at our next enamel pin we're going to go ahead and start moving to the hard enamel pin so these ones have just about the most normal backing you can actually get so the Alistair sort of backing actually had this special sort of summer background and then moving it to the Valentino and Vox backgrounds. These ones I 
actually had sort of like a purple look, but these next two that will be in the uh, form of Husk and Serpentius are actually sort of in the normal colors for the actual uh, logo that are actually corresponding to the color palette of the Hasbro Hotel logo, as you can see there, rather than being purple, or even with the special backgrounds that are actually on the Alistair enamel pin. But anyway, getting Serpentius out here, let's go ahead and take a look at him. So as usual, as you can see here on the back, we just have the same normal rubber backing. And then taking that off, let's go ahead and uh, very quickly take a look at this card close up. And since this is a, a new one, or at least one that I haven't taken a look at in this video yet. So this one is very similar to the purple one that Valentino and Vox were on with it just being a different color but you can see we have the same stripes and everything is generally in the exact same place with the text being placed in the same area the sort of manufacturing location being in the same area and whatnot but anyway, moving away from the card and actually to the pin, here is none other than Serpentius, one of the many overlords of hell. So as you can see here, for those of you that, well, once again, don't know Serpentius, he is sort of like, you can think of him as a sort of a overlord that uh, appears in the form of a snake, sort of like a cobra with the horn tie of sort of, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's actually called scientifically, but sort of like this horn tie or sort of part that actually sort of expands out behind his head and has some extra eyes. And then also, uh, his hat also has a little eye and a little mouth and generally expresses the same emotion that his face is expressing. And then here you can actually see is sort of like a more of a cute pose, I guess, if you could uh, say that, with his uh, smile actually being just a simple line with his two fangs sticking out there. And then you've got a bow his bow tie right there in the center, right below where his neck ends on this pin. And then you've got his uh, same his sort of uh, color palette colors here with his hat being gray with uh, the highlights for his eyes well the many eyes that are exaggerated here being red and then you've got some nice highlights in sort of like a orange and then like all the other pins you've got sort of like that bare metal or sort of like that base coat color that does actually line around this pin like all of the others as well but anyway there is the serpentious hard enamel pin and then taking a look at the last one that I'll be taking a look at in today's video this is my Husker hard enamel pin of course it has been hotel one once again and like all of the other ones as I've already mentioned this is a uh, brand new currently but anyway getting this out this card is much uh, the same as the serpentious backing of course with the only difference being that it actually says husk but his full name is actually husker so i'll go ahead and give a very slight background for this character again because he's one that actually doesn't get a lot of background given in the actual pilot or many other sort of places unless you really search and just watch uh, comic dubs on sort of like the normal and stuff like that but for those of you that don't know a husk is sort of like you can think of him as a gambler he does a lot of uh, gambling drinking and general stuff like that but anyway here you can see that he has sort of like a uh, lackluster expression just sort of looking a little bit moody i guess is the right term for this but you can see his uh, very large and very highly expressed eyebrows just coming out to the sides there in red and then his eyes just sort of uh, being very sort of a uh, droopy looking i guess they sort of have like uh, eye bags or whatever you'd like to call them sort of looking as if he's tired and then his mouth is just well as i said generally really lackluster just sort of looking moody and then his nose is a little hot or whatever you'd like to call that i'm sure it's actually supposed to represent a um a, a, a sort of expression on a playing card but i've never actually looked into what all of those are called and i just am generally not associated with playing cards so i don't actually know what that's called but it does just sort of generally look like a heart to me and then it doesn't actually stand out very strongly here against the sort of uh, metallic background here with this sort of base coat or exposed metal look here but the sides of his face are actually in sort of like a brown color with the main portion in the center being sort of like a very light tan or sort of like actually sort of being similar ish to the general shade of my skin color i guess being a lot more pale and then his ears are actually a very bright pink on the inside and then you've got his little top hat with the red ring there and then as i said earlier you've got that same sort of outline with that sort of a metallic sort of exposed metal or base coat look running around the uh, sort of outline of the pin much like every other one that I've taken a look at today But anyway, there is every single pin that I'll be taking a look at today So we have the 
So Pinchus, Husker, Vox, Valentino, and Alistair. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is something that I've never really done before. So I hope I did a good job at explaining all of the details on these. And I hope I didn't miss anything. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to go into the comments. Or heck, even go over to Vibsy Pop's channel. Or maybe watch some Honeycast and uh, learn a lot more about the history of these characters. And what kind of personalities they have. For characters like Vox that actually don't have a lot of background that's commonly known by Hasmin Hotel fans. But anyway, with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, 